Well, it's Christmas Eve, and it's almost midnight, and we just got home from Jeremy's cousin's house where we were playing games and stuff. Uh, now all the presents are under the tree, and I'm ready to hit the hay. It was a fun night. Here's our Christmas tree all lit up. Here's all the gifts under the tree. I'm ready to hit the hay. Good morning. Merry Christmas. You want to show what you've opened already? Show that on camera. These show this cool day. Eh? Who's that? Santa. Cool. With your name. The gray cat loves her toy. We always get the cat's Christmas gifts, and they're full of catnip, they're toys. Both of them love it. The black one got mad because Gray kept taking hers. No. We got all our toys, all our presents laying around everywhere. We're going to have to tidy up real soon, and then head to Jeremy's parents' house for Christmas dinner. Are you happy? You got everything you wanted? Well, I got one thing I wanted. Your baby? Mm-hmm. Baby alive doll that she can feed and give water to and she has diapers and can change her diapers. Pretty awesome. I'm tired. Enjoying a coffee and my nice new Christmas mug from Santa. And then we're gonna hit the road. To head to Jeremy's parents' house. Hey, <laughs> nice shot. Ah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. This is a great a game we got for Christmas. Croconaw, and I suck. Hey, folks, welcome back. So today uh, it is Boxing Day. Hope everybody had a good Christmas and all that. Good holiday season. We got uh, New Year's coming up next week, so a big New Year coming up for us. I hope uh, you guys got lots going on too. Let us know down in the comments any projects you got coming uh, up and all that stuff. So this year what we plan to do is a bunch of things, but one thing is upgrade this solar system. So I'm going to just go over this because I've been getting a lot of questions about how well it's doing in the winter, how well it does anyways, that kind of thing and all that. So I'm going to go over it quickly here today and talk about why we have it on the wall and all that too. So I'll just get right into it. So what we have here is a 24 by 40 cabin and we have 600 watts of panels on the side of the house there. So on the side, the reason why they're on the side is because we never at the time, we never had the time to build a proper bracket. We always planned on upgrading that setup anyways but a concern that a lot of people are asking was you know they're just gonna break there but you see up here we have a snow blocker so these have already lasted through a winter now I guess winter and a half and what those snow blockers do is they break it up so no amount will ever drop on them it keeps them perfectly fine so it's actually been a really good setup now, having said that, we're not going to keep them there permanently. They are going to come off there because I plan to upgrade that system because 600 watts is not enough for us. And the reason why it's not enough for us now is because, if you look here, we have a well. We didn't have a well when we put it in. So when we originally put it in, <clears throat> we were just powering a 50-watt ref uh, refrigerator. It's a solar-powered solar fridge, 56 watts it takes actually to power that. We are powering a TV and then just uh, internet stuff like the small router and stuff like that and then a satellite box and then some lighting so not a whole lot of stuff but once we added this to it we have a submersible pump in there it takes about 1200 watts to run that so obviously 600 is not going to do that so what we're going to do is we're probably going to go to about a 2000 watt system and that should be more than enough for our place and then that'll run the pump <clears throat> uh, all the things I mentioned before there and and then some extra lighting as we add some more too so it'll be perfect so we're, we've been pretty happy with what we have it just needs to upgrade a bit so those panels so they're connected in series through these MC4 connectors 
I have another video that I'll post up here and you can go to that video and check out how I go over this a little more completely or if I miss anything you'd be able to just go check that if you have any questions it'll probably be in that other video what this is here this wire this is a ground wire and our cabin is on post steel post so that wire just runs to one of those posts and then it grounds right to the ground so that's it was kind of a perfect setup that way what we got here for brackets we're going to still use these brackets when we take it off when we take this off right and we'll the reason why i put it on this wood i can just take the wood off and then i can put that on my stand when i build the stand and then they'll just be good to go that way too and also on here you can just unscrew these and then change the angles so to make it go down more in the winter or whatever i just leave them because for what we're powering it's fine and we're not going to get enough power to power that well over there e either way right so so they just run in series and they run along in behind each one of them right the whole way through those mc4 connectors they're great connectors too and each one is grounded itself too right so they just ground meet up there and so on so because we have this this uh, room here it actually just runs through that room these wires then they just come out here and then that goes into the house that's uh, the positive and negative and then that goes into the back of the charge controller down here i just have a vent there that's just a piece of pvc pipe with a piece of screening over it and that there uh, vents the batteries out here that's a temporary setup eventually this here uh, utility room is also temporary so what will happen is this here will have a mud room right over top of this and then that will come in here become a utility room and the solar will also come out there so then all the solar equipment i'm going to show you inside will also come out with that so uh, let's go inside and i'll show you the batteries the charge controller and the the other stuff involved in this setup all right so now that i'm inside this is the charge controller we have now this charge controller you can see right there the battery's at 100%. There's 86.7 volts coming in, 77 watts. And what this charge controller can actually be set, right now we have it at set for 12 volt because we have two 6 volt batteries together in series to make it 12. So then that's the max solar is 800 watts. But when we upgrade it, you can just change how your setup is and go right up to 3200 watts. That's why we got this one. So there's the details with it. So it's a pretty good setup. Here's the two lines that come in from the outside, or right here. That's the ones that came in through the wall I showed you out there. And then the, the negative and the, the positive and negative that are coming in from the solar panels. These two here come in down here to the batteries. The batteries are in that box. This here's the inverter that we have, 3000 watt inverter. This here is also something we already had so that's why we're using this this is not what i would use if i was setting it up right now but it's what we have so it works this also you can see that's connected there that goes down to the batteries like i said you want to see the full setup even more check up here i have this uh, battery charger here hooked up to it just in case i need uh, the extra power to charge the batteries we'll run that when we run it off the jenny or anything the generator outside and that's because we don't have the setup we want yet but before we uh, got that well we were good to go without this all right so in here those two clips there that's from the the battery charger so there are two Kedron 420 amp hour 6 volt batteries and you just I fill them up at once a month they don't even need to be filled once a month but I always check once a month anyway and what this keeps charged all the time is this 56 watt unique off-grid solar fridge it's a great fridge if you want to have more information about that let me know I'll throw another video together it's also running this DC light up, light and fan up here. So that light has four different settings, a few different settings for the fan also. And it's a pretty good light and that's 12 volt and that's always hooked up. 
So that's our solar setup we currently have. Again, you can check up here if you want to check out uh, the other video I had. I'll also link to it at the end of this at the end screens. So you can click to that and go check out the video I put up on this before. So thanks for stopping by and like, subscribe, hit the bell. We'll see you in the next one.